Hello, my name is Craig Basher. I'm an application engineer with Advanced Solutions. My primary focus is on the manufacturing products. Today I'm going to show you what's new with Autodesk Showcase 2012, Driving Assembly Constraints. This means I can take an inventor assembly, create a constraint, and push that over into Showcase and create a behavior. So let's take a look at how that's done. Now that I've been an inventor, what I would do is I would create my assembly, constrain it, and then also I would drive my constraint. Put in my variables, play it. I would even save my assembly so that I can save that constraint. Next thing I want to do is I want to change the name of my constraint. Now the reason I'm changing the name is that Showcase will pick up that name and use it in the behavior. So I'll go ahead and save and now jump over into Showcase. Now that I'm into Showcase, I could go ahead and import the models in. And then when I do that, Showcase picks up that actual constraint. So when I go into Behaviors, that file would automatically be there. So what I can do now is I can go ahead and hit Play, and it will show me that constraint. Now in this constraint here or this behavior I can edit that I can give it a new name I could loop it I can oscillate it change the axis change the units I just change just how it gets driven so it's a back and forth so that's a very nice tool I can even take that same behavior and put it into a storyboard application so once again, I want to thank you for your attention, and if you want some more details about Inventor or Showcase, feel free to contact Advanced Solutions toll-free at 1-877-GET-ASI-1, and visit our website. Thanks for listening.